we are told that the party in the state house are entirely separate entities, and I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and believe that. Um, I hope that I'm right. I hope that there are people out there with independent views and that it's not just more than the truth, but I can't say with confidence one way or the other. Can you describe a little bit more about the naming of vacancies uh, to the state committee? Or are who have been named? Has it already happened? Do you just believe it is happening? Do you can elaborate a little bit. Sure. So there were originally 40 vacancies uh, as of two weeks ago, I believe. And within the last few days, uh, the chairman has filled 35, 35 out of the 40 vacancies. Um, that's very concerning. Right? Because presumably all 35 of those people are going to be voting for the chairman. Um, were it up to me, again, if I were elected, I would wait until after the elections, just on an optimum, right? Because the amount of bad press that our Rhode Island Democratic Party has been getting is going to dissuade people from joining the Democratic Party. The next, again, I, I didn't want for this to look like a petty personal thing. But I, what I also don't want is for the next person like me, a single mom, a waitress who wants to run for office, to be scared out of it by bullets. We have a very big presidential election coming up in 2020. We need to be building our ranks, not dwindling them. And I think that when activists and organizers see the kind of behavior that goes on within the party, it does not inspire a lot of confidence. And we're not making a real effort to bring more people into the fold. So there's... You know, there's a fine line between chasms within the party and, you know, self-destruction before a really big and important presidential election. So this is something that we need to hammer out the details on. And if they really want to have this come together moment as a party, then they need to work as hard for it as we do. So I know you, I know you said that the whole time, you didn't want this to sound personal But when did you start thinking about it? Was it back when Earnhardt was endorsed? Oh, goodness. Absolutely not. Um, when Earnhardt was endorsed, uh, I was specifically asked by a lot of reporters whether I thought the chairman should step down. A lot of people were asking for his resignation, and I said in no uncertain terms that I did not believe he was the right course of action. I wanted him to hold an election, because if he's as good of a chairman as he says he is, then he should win no problem. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I, the reason that this press present to vote? Is that up there? Yes. Thing? Okay. All right. Anybody else? All right. I'll let you guys go before our hair freezes. Thank you. 
Thank you for coming out. Well, thanks, I haven't forgotten that. Well, tell me. Yeah,